In a situation where we have several toolpaths that have all been created using a single tool in PowerMill, we want to minimize the tool changes on the machine tool by using the one tool assembly that is a combination of tool and holder for all those toolpaths. This will have the benefit of reducing the overall machining cycle time due to less tool changes and also means on machine tools that have a limited size carousel we're not taking up extra space in the carousel for separate tools and holders for each of those individual toolpaths. In PowerMill 10 and previous versions before PowerMill 10 finding a single combination of tool overhang and holder design that was collision free for a selection of toolpaths was very time consuming and a very tedious operation. And this typically involve many iterations of running the toolpath verification calculation, altering the overhang and the tool holder geometry between iterations to try and find the most optimum and rigid setup for all the toolpaths in question. In PowerMill 2010 this process has now become very simple and easy to do with the inclusion of the new tool holder safe profile functionality. This tool holder profile functionality allows us now to quickly mix and match combinations of tool and holder and see the results instantaneously without having to run through numerous toolpath verification calculations. Let's open the project and see this new tool holder profile in action. Okay, so what we have at the moment is uh, four batch toolpaths, all different types of toolpath. I have a surface machining, pencil, trace, a shallow and steep machining. But all toolpaths share exactly the same tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is batch process all those toolpaths. Now during the calculation of the toolpaths, PAML is also, also creating in the background the tool hold, holder profile for each individual toolpath. Now this is the maximum tool profile that will be allowed for each individual toolpath that will be collision free. This calculation of the holder profile can be done either during toolpath calculation or can be switched off in the tools options and be done as a separate operation after toolpath calculation if required. As we can see uh, in the PowerMill Explorer already we have some collision statuses defined for the toolpaths that have been created. Uh, the first toolpath, which is the surface machining, is collision free, but the remaining three toolpaths have the red exclamation mark indicating that there are collisions with this holder and the part. Let's now take a look at the holder profile for each of the toolpaths. The holder profile is stored obviously with the tool. So if we go to the settings for the tool and next to the holder tab we have a new tab called holder profile. Now if I start by switching off all of the toolpaths and we'll cycle through each toolpath individually to see the profile for each toolpath. So there we can see that in the graphics window on the tool form the holder profile drawn in blue there. Now this as I've said before is the maximum profile that will be allowed that is collision free. Now obviously this profile it looks nothing like a tool holder but it gives us an envelope to position the holder inside. Let's move on to the next toolpath. You can see 
the holder this time is totally different and each time we run through the individual toolpaths then the holder changes, the whole maximum holder profile changes. Now in this view we can see that the steep machining, the constant Z machining, with the current holder and overhang setup then there will be collisions between the holder and the part. Now this collision is indicated by the, obviously the exclamation mark in the PowerMill Explorer but also in our tool assembly view here we can see that any holder components that do collide with the part are displayed in red. So this happens wherever our holder intersects our maximum profile. At the moment our clearance is set to 2.5 millimeters so this blue profile, maximum holder profile includes the 2.5 millimeter clearance between the holder and the part. So let's go back to the first toolpath which we can see is collision free. If I was only interested in outputting this toolpath to the machine then I could change my overhang and make this setup much more rigid. So for example if we go to the holder profile now I could drop that down to 30 millimeters and instantaneously I know that this is still a collision free toolpath. I don't have to go through the process now of going to toolpath verification and checking for collisions again. Because I have the maximum profile as long as the toolpath doesn't change then that profile will not change so I can mix and match any iteration of tool overhang and holder and as long as it fits inside that profile I know I will have a safe collision free toolpath. So in this case we need to find a collision free situation for all four toolpaths so we can output them as a single either a single NC program or separate NC programs that all use the same tool. So if we go back to our tool holder profile if I switch on all the toolpaths now to be included in the holder profile you can see straight away we get the red exclamation marks and now I need to reposition my holder to find a collision free position. There is an option which makes it very simple to find a collision free position and that is the automatic overhang icon. If I click that icon it will position the tool holder as far up the tool length as it needs to be to avoid any collisions. So the minimum overhang I require is 112.42. Obviously I may want to make round that figure up and make it 115. And now you can see in the Pamela Explorer all uh, safety status icons have turned to green and I can be guaranteed that that toolpath is now collision free. So very simply and very quickly without the need to do several toolpath verifications I've identified a tool assembly setup that is collision free for all those toolpaths. With this current uh, setup of tool holder and overhang you can see that we have a quite a, a large strong holder but we have a very long overhang so there may be a possibility of push off and vibration because of, because of the amount of tool sticking out of the holder. So now I have the choice to either stick with this combination or I can quickly and easily change my holder to try and find another holder that will fit lower down and give me less of an overhang with the tool. 
So at this stage I can go either to my holder database and you'll notice that the collision safe profile or the tool holder profile is also taken across into the tool database holder search form and here I can scroll through all my holders trying to find a suitable holder. So here I have a holder which is smaller in diameter with a, a narrower taper at the front which looks like it's going to fit in a lot better and a lot lower down. So I'm going to apply that holder and replace the holder for all the tools for all the tool paths in my project and now you can see that we have a lot of space there between the maximum profile and the holder so I can automatically calculate the overhang again and the overhang now is reduced from 115 to 89 so we saved approximately 26 millimeters of overhang. To go through this process of finding the optimum, the most optimum setup of tool overhang and holder combination without having the benefits of the holder profile would have probably taken many many minutes or even hours in PowerMill 10 or earlier.